Today I'm going to be showing you compilations of every single time I mashed up three logos into one super logo using a random generator. If you're new here, I'm Tyler aka Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then go ahead and subscribe. So in this video, I'm basically going to be showing you a series that I did on my TikTok where I take this random logo generating wheel that I made online, have it select three different logos, one for the brand we're going to be using, one for the font style, and one for the overall style, and then mashing those all into one logo. I also recently have brought the series over to YouTube, so I'll link that up here if you want to see that. So without further ado, let's get into the videos. So it looks like we're going to be using the Nike brand with the Cola font and in the style of the NASA logo. First, I did some Googling to find out what the Cola font was. I found this one called Loki Cola and it matched perfectly. So I brought that into Photoshop and typed out Nike in that font. Here you can just see me masking out anything that's not the background blue or these stars in the NASA logo because my idea is to add the Nike logo in there and then make whatever this red part is of the NASA logo be the Nike swoosh. So I did all that in Photoshop real quick and here's the final result. I think it looks so cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. So it looks like for the brand we're going to be doing Chanel in the font of the BMW logo and in the style of the BP logo. So I started by finding the font of the BMW logo and apparently it's just Helvetica. So I went into Photoshop, typed out Chanel, put it in Helvetica and began designing. My initial thought was to use the two C's of the Chanel logo but somehow make the outline of them look like the flower star pattern that the BP logo has. So I did all that in Photoshop and here's the final result. I think this looks really cool but let me know what you think in the comments. It looks like we're gonna do the Target brand with the dominant Domino's font and the style of the Dunkin Donuts logo. So first I found out what font the Domino's logo uses and apparently it's just Futura. So I typed out Target in Futura and made it the color of Domino's. Then I decided to take the Target logo but make it the colors of the Dunkin Donuts and I actually added on a white stroke followed by a brown stroke to match the icon on the Dunkin logo. And here's the final result. I think it looks very ugly. It's giving me very like Big Lots Kmart vibes but what do you think? Let me know in the comments. So it looks like we're going to be using the brand of Coca-Cola in the Chanel font and in the style of the Microsoft logo. So to start out I went to find the font from Chanel which apparently is called Couture. I downloaded that and then I typed out Coca-Cola in that font. So I tried to start laying it out similarly to the Coca-Cola logo where the big C encapsulates the smaller Ola part and I came up with this. I know it's not exactly the same as the original logo but I think it looks really cool. So I changed the kerning on that a little bit, tried to make it a little closer to each other. Then I basically changed it to look like the Microsoft logo with the colors one after the other. At first I did it all the way across but then somebody on live suggested that I do just the first part in the colors and then the rest of it gray like in the Microsoft logo and here's the final result. I think it looks really cool but let me know what you think in the comments. So it looks like we're going to be doing the brand of Taco Bell in the font of Nickelodeon and in the style of the Honda logo. To start I found the font which actually somebody made a dupe font of the Nickelodeon font online so I downloaded that and then I typed out Taco Bell and I I rearranged it in the order of the Taco Bell logo. At first I thought I was just going to change the color of the logo, but actually I ended up taking the negative space from the bell and actually cutting it out of the Honda logo. I wasn't sure how this was going to look, but here's the final result. I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what logos I should do next. So it looks like we're going to be using the brand of A&W, the font of Target, in the style of the FedEx logo. So I first started looking for what font Target uses in their logo, and it turns out they use Helvetica New Bold. So I typed out A&W in that font. Then I worked on cutting out the A&W of their actual logo and replaced it with the new font. I decided to make it the purple and the orange from the FedEx logo and the red from the Target. Then I changed the brown and orange in the A&W to be the FedEx colors, but like kind of mirroring each other. Last I got rid of the red because it just didn't look right and here's the final result. I think this looks super cool. I even mocked it up on an actual sign. Let me know what you think in the comments. So it looks like we're going to be doing the Pixar logo in the font of Dunkin Donuts and the style of the Spotify logo. So I started by finding the font of the Dunkin Donuts logo and I found this one with a very interesting name. I typed out Pixar then I isolated the P and the czar so that I could grab the lamp from the actual logo. I made it the color of Spotify including the lamp. My final thought was that I could take the Spotify logo which I think are sound waves and make it look like it's beaming from the lamp. So when I got all that together, here's the final result. I mocked it up on what it would look like on a TV and I think it looks super cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. So it looks like we're going to be doing the brand of Barbie in the font of Takis and the style of the 7up logo. So I started by finding the font of Takis. It's actually a font called Tekton Bold. 
So I downloaded that and then I typed out the B in Barbie. I made the B large and gave it that green drop shadow like the 7up logo. Then I typed out Barbie and put it in that red circle like the 7up logo and put the little whirlpool from the Taki logo in there. After I did this, I kind of had this brain blast that I would make the red bubble actually be Barbie's head. So I put that in there. Then I added in the little bubble details from the 7up logo and here's the final result. I'm really happy with how it came out. However, if I saw this in a store, I don't know if I'd buy it. Here it is mocked up on a Barbie. Let me know what you think in the comments. So it looks like we're doing the brand of John Deere in the font of Supreme and in the style of the Pokemon logo. So I found out that the Supreme logo uses a version of Futura, but I also found this one called Rabbit Highway Sign that I downloaded and used for the font. I initially started doing this in Photoshop, but I quickly realized I should do this in Illustrator. I typed it all out and gave it a stroke, and then I started rearranging it in kind of like the style of the Pokemon logo. I brought it back into Photoshop and added an inner shadow to the yellow part, and then a drop shadow to the whole thing that's dark blue. Finally, for the actual deer logo, I thought it'd be funny to use a Pokemon instead of the deer that they used. So I found this deer Pokemon online, and then I took the outline of that and turned it into a blue and yellow logo. And here's the final result. I absolutely love this logo. I ended up mocking it up as if it was kind of like a video game on a game boy and I absolutely love how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. So we're doing the Amazon logo in the font of the Fanta logo and the style of Arby's. So I started by finding the font, it's called Jabberwub, but I couldn't actually find it to download so I just typed it up on their website and saved it. I put that into Photoshop and right away I had the idea to kind of mash the Amazon and the Arby's logo together and make the bottom of the Arby's hat be the little Amazon smile. I put all that together and made it red and here's the final result. I think this looks super cool. I mocked it up on an Amazon truck so you guys can see what it would look like in the real world and let me know what you think in the comments. Comments. So it looks like we're doing the Disney logo in the font of the Budweiser logo and in the style of Toys R Us. So I found a dupe for the Budweiser font online and then I started by recreating the Disney castle and cutting it out so I could take away the words. I typed out Walt Disney in the Budweiser font and I made all the letters the colors of the Toys R Us logo. I took the D in Disney and swapped it like the R in Toys R Us. I put a white outline around the whole thing and I made each layer of the castle be the colors and order of the Toys R Us logo. And here's the final result. I think this looks pretty cool. I actually mocked it up on a TV and I love how it looks on that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Comments. Well, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down in the comments which one of these logo mashups is your favorite.